the whole scandal uncovered today at one local park will shock you. Good evening, everyone. Thank, Thank you, you for joining us tonight, everybody. We begin tonight with a sex crime that simply won't go away. And what we are about to show you might not be appropriate for some kids. Men are allegedly using our city's parks to conduct sexual business. Who are they and what are they allegedly doing there? Marvin Hurst has the story. So were you caught in the park trying to commit a sexual act with a man? So did you realize that the Breck Park is built for family and kids? This is one of 20 men reportedly caught in a Breck Park on the brink of engaging in lewd activities with another man. Take that. Street community anti-crime team members have worked undercover for the past three days, investigating complaints that men meet in the park to conduct their sexual business. So far, the complaints have been on the money. Unsuspecting pleasure seekers lead decoys right into what is thought to be their sexual lair, like this man who admits he got a little carried away. I heard him uh, say he wanted to watch me, so I was doing what, I, what he wanted me to do. He seemed to be enjoying it. Oh, yeah, sorry, sir. Put your hand behind back, sir. Undercover agents have caught men in all positions. They come from all walks of life. And most of them seem to be married, like this man. What do you think your family is going to say when they see this? But why a park? Basically, convenience uh, near the interstate. Uh, they're able to get off the interstate, come over here, do whatever kind of business they're going to do. And, and what do these men think about the sanctity of the park's family environment? I come out here sometimes to play with uh, the kids and so on, too. Yeah. I, just, I know that's a family department. And simple battery. What happened, sir? Ain't nothing happened to me. No? Well, the police have you. You asked the police. I don't know, Tommy. For alleged lewd sexual behavior in public parks, Deputies from the Sheriff's Department's SCAT team. Very offensive. We want to caution you. WAP crime team reporter Tarek Miner has the story. You'd be shocked at what you'll see during lunchtime at Forest Park. But today, these woods are under surveillance. Deputies from the Sheriff's Department's SCAT team say lewd sexual encounters like these take place almost every day, just yards away from children. The man in the green shirt is an undercover deputy. The man fondling himself is 48-year-old Brian O'Neill. Deputies say O'Neill just requested a sexual favor. Put your hands up. Put your hands behind your back. SCAT team officials say they've been going undercover for the past three days after receiving reports of offensive behavior from park goers and neighbors. It's disgusting. Would you want your child to see that? SCAT team officials say they've arrested 20 people so far on various sexual charges. O'Neill appeared to confess to his crime on camera. You were doing what? I was taking a, taking a, a pee right no, there on the tree. Back over there by the tree. By yeah. the tree? Yeah, over there on the tree that we got you on film. What were we doing? Uh, I guess fondling myself. Deputies say 95% of those arrested are married men. 77-year-old Doyle Galloway is charged with attempted crimes against nature and simple battery. What happened, sir? Ain't nothing happened to me. No? Well, the police have you. You asked the police. I don't know, Tommy. With photographer Joe McCoy, Tarek Miner, WAFB9 News. Now remember, this raid was not deep in a wooded area. This was just 100 yards away from where people were playing tennis and golf.